In the process of making a bronze sculpture, the process of the mold is very important. Making a good mold so you can pour a good wax model. Now for the tribal dance sculpture, two molds were made for pouring the wax. This is a elastic silicone rubber. The casing is plaster of Paris. This piece was pretty large, so we did two molds of it with the plas plaster seal on it. We'll stand it up. You've got different holes here, also known as gates, in which the liquid wax is poured in. We're at Hilario's Fine Art Studio, and Hilario is lining the mold of tribal dance with wax. You can see the two halves of the mold get a very tight fit. So when the liquid wax is pouring in, you'll have a clean wax model. We're getting the liquid wax ready to pour into the mold. Heating it up a little more. Lario's carefully pouring the wax into the mold. It's like giving birth to the beginning of a sculpture. It needs to be poured in at a certain rate because the way it cools also affects how good the wax model will be. Hilario is pouring out all the wax as the first pour was to form a coating. So after the initial liquid wax is poured out, you'll see it will be poured in again. Ooh, and there we have it. Four figures making up half of the tribal dance sculpture. Hilario's wiping the wax model with like a, a coarse sort of Brillo pad. He's heating it up, which slightly melts the surface. Have to be very careful as the piece is hollow. It's fragile. I see the, the mole line on the female figure. Yes, it'll be quite a lot of work getting this ready to cast into bronze. And I will also be filling the holes that I get into all the spots as this is, has a lot of negative space to it. Can't wait to finish it and cast it.